Hi everyone, this is Dave. And what I've got here is the Doogie or Doogie X5 Max. This is a budget priced smartphone with a really good set of features. And the first thing that really struck me with this particular smartphone is it's a little bit thicker than others. And I really appreciate that because it manages to house a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And if you match that up with the medium specifications that it's got here on this particular smartphone, that will give you a two day battery life very, very comfortably indeed. So on the front here, we've got a five inch HD screen. We've got one gigabytes of RAM and an eight gigabytes ROM, eight megapixel camera around on the rear with a fingerprint sensor as well. And it's running Google Android version six out of the box. I love the white colorway, very, very nice indeed. And this is a nice smooth touch to the back, but very, very soft as well. It's nice and tactile. I also like the fact we've got these little attentions to detail, like the, the tiny little beveled edge around the fingerprint sensor, which is in the perfect place on the back. The eight megapixel camera on the back is uh, sort of backed up with a flash as well. So it does an okay job. The flash at close sort of quarters does sort of overpower the photo sometimes, but overall the camera is an okay performer. I'll show you some of the results very shortly. If we look down on the bottom edge here, we've got speaker and microphone. Top edge, we have got micro USB charging and also the three and a half millimeter audio jack. And then along this edge here, we've got the volume rocker and also the power on off button. It has got a removable battery. You can take the back cover off with this little indent here as well. Now let's look back around the front. Android version six out of the box. Performance is acceptable, not stellar, but it's a nice clear display. This is HD resolution and all of the controls are touch sensitive and they're actually off the screen. So we've got the uh, multitasking button, the home button, and of course the back button here as well. Now I mentioned to you that I've taken some photos earlier. So let's go into the gallery and take a look. Now the camera is quite slow to focus but when it does focus, it captures a nice amount of detail and the colors are reasonably good. A little tiny bit off in some of the photos, but this particular one here looks very, very nice indeed. And it picked up all of the detail in the wood on the tips of the pencils here. And it just overall a very nice tonal quality to this particular photo. Again, with this wood here, a good amount of detail. The photo does look a tiny, tiny bit flat though, but overall a really good performance. And then this one here of the grass that I am so proud of that I grew myself in my pot. The focus was a little bit off on this and a little bit grainy, but this shows you what the sort of mid light quality is. This wasn't low light, but it was just a bit of natural light, but not fantastic lighting. And it did a really good job. The actual performance of the Doji X5 Max is pretty good. But I think the real selling point of this is you've got a Google Android phone running Android version 6.0 uh, with decent specifications, not stellar, but it is coming in at such a fantastic price point with the big, big, big selling point, that 4,000 milliamp hour battery. If you need to go two days between charges, then this is definitely a decent choice without spending a lot of money. Another use case scenario for a smartphone like this is if you want to give this to a younger user and you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a flagship smartphone, but you still want to have something that's nice and reliable, that's got access to all of the apps they're gonna need, then this is a really wise choice. This is the Doji X5 Max. I'll leave a link to where you can pick one up for yourself down in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in another video very soon.